It's Sam O'Reilly from Fight Talk. I'm here today, Steve Goodwin's media day in Leighton Buzzard. I'm here with Mark Massow and his two of his prospects, Carl McCarthy, Daryl Church. How are we, boys? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, thanks. I'm very good, very good. How's it getting up this crack of dawn on a Sunday morning to get down here? Not good at all. <laughs> Seven o'clock, we left, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Right, been nice a bit, of, a, bit of an early one, but uh, that's it, get it done. Mark, tell us a little bit about the gym. Obviously, I was down there earlier in the week with yourself and your guys. Tell me a little bit about your guys, your prospects, who's coming through, who's been fighting. I know you was out last night as well at a show. Yeah, uh, Robin Dupree won last night. Um, he trains with Nigel Carroll, um, but I just helped them out on the night. But he done well, um, boxed in a four-rounder, one-handedly on points against a, a Greek cruiserweight. Uh, that went well, so he's moving on now. Him and Nigel are going to sit down and uh, decide which way to go, but everything's going all right on his, from his point of view. Um, things are going well for us down in Chelmsford. We've got Daryl um, and Kyle boxing 11th of March at York Hall. That'll be a good show, so uh, we're getting ready for that. Uh, Matt McCarthy is boxing 17th of March. Um, he's looking good in the gym. We're going to come back, make a bit of a statement this year. Um, and we've got uh, Tom Ansell. He's training, he's looking good. Um, he's recovering from injury at the moment. Moment, so uh, he's just taking his time in the gym, getting back to normal. But he's looking to make his pro debut in June on a Goodwin promotion bill. And uh, Sam Stokes, he's been out. Um, he had a few issues at the back end of last year, but um, he's back in the gym now, and uh, he's looking to box in April. Uh, that'll be on a Goodwin show as well. So um, yeah, it's all going on down there. It's, it's a busy time at the moment for us, but um, they're all doing well. So it's just a matter of uh, getting the results this year and sort of progressing really. Having two boys fight on the same night, um, you see it a lot, you know what I mean, mm. on small hall shows. Is that, um, do you prefer it that way, sort of having the same date to aim for, or is it, does it pose other problems having your guys fight on the same um, night? It's all right, do you know what I mean? We, we work to a, a programme, um, so we know where we are each week out. Um, and yeah, it's all right, we can uh, mix it up a little bit. Uh, and most of the time I train them individually anyway, they don't normally train as a group. Um, I have them sort of staggered throughout the day so I can keep an eye on them. Um, Carl and his brother Matt uh, generally train together. Um, they're trained, they're boxing a week apart, so their training's pretty much the same anyway um, where they are each week on their training. Um, we concentrate on the sparring at the moment, we're only a few weeks out, so uh, they've got a couple of more hard weeks and then, it, then it'll all be tapered down anyway. But um, yeah, it's all right getting them ready, at least they can sort of bounce off each other they know they're um, boxing on the same night um, but from my point of view we just get on with it do you know what I mean um, they, they've got jobs to do and just knuckle down and uh, they do what's asked of them and that's, that's all we can do really yeah Carl I'll start with you I mean this is your your debut yeah. um, so it, this is all new to you the media day and all that stuff how are you finding it yeah I find it all right in a minute yeah yeah what about um, your photos and your green screen and all that? This is, did you think when you, you know, when you made the decision to turn over that you'd have all that on your pro debut? No, I knew it was going to come. Just wish I had some bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit pale. <laughs> um, what's it like being in the gym with these boys? I know you sort of train separately a lot, but you're in there together, same atmosphere. You know what I mean? You get the same buzz off each other. What does that feel like? No, I'm really enjoying it. It's a stable, like, stable gym. I've got a like, good couple of pros around me. I've got a good trainer. I feel comfortable. What about you, Daryl? Let's um, moving over to yourself. Yeah. You know, you've been a little while. We spoke the other day, quite yeah, yeah, in a little yeah. bit more detail. But what's it, what's it like having the buzz of the boys in the gym? Yeah, it's good. Do you know what? Before, um, sort of Carl and Matt come over, it was only sort of a couple of us, and I was actually on my own last year. So to have sort of everyone back and boys around you, it gives you that sort of buzz. Um, to sort of get motivated because sometimes when you're on your own day in day out you think oh it's just sort of me here you know and you sort of just reflect off each other really and um yeah sort of. mark what can we expect to see from your gym and your guys in the next 12 months what's the what's the plans 
Uh, well, Daryl's um, he's taking a bit more serious this year. He's got a couple of sponsors on board. Um, get, the, the hard thing is uh, with these professionals, people sort of don't pr appreciate they've got their own lives to lead. They've, they've, most of them have got a full-time job. On top of that, they've got to fit their training in. Um, the ticket sales is like a, a major part of it nowadays. They're, they're almost like a promoter in their own right, having to go out, sell the tickets. Um, so it is hard for him but uh, Daryl's going to knuckle down this year and, and uh, sort of live the life and have a good run at it. Um, I keep saying to him don't be sat in a pub in 10 years time sort of telling everyone what he could have done it, given the chance. It's, it, now's the time to do it. Um, he needs to settle down and push on this year and then at the end of this year hopefully he's had some good wins behind him this year and then next year he can look at um, look at uh, like a minor title and go from there looking at belts but it's, at, it's, it's getting a bit of continuity this year um, his, his career's been a little bit stop start uh, but hopefully he can have a good run at it this year and set himself up for a good good uh, like an opportunity next year really looking at th this year is a good run in for things for next year really a bit of continuity um, and get some good results behind him. And Carl, Carl's very new to it. Always, he had a good little run on the unlicensed, um, and now he's he's sort of legitimised what he's done on the unlicensed. He's gone pro, and it's all about learning, really. He's, he's going to have a couple of years sort of learning the game, uh, understanding sort of um, what it's all about. And it's early days for Carl. We ain't going to sort of uh, get ahead of ourselves, but um, he's doing everything asked of him so far. So that's all we can do. That's it. What's, what's in store for the rest of the day? Straight back to Essex, or are we going to see the sights of Leighton Buzzard? Or what's well, I'm not going to find a McDonald's, I mean, I think, <laughs> oi, we see, I think we see all the sights on the way here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a very nice place. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, boys, it's a pleasure talking to you again. You too, um, Sam. I look forward to seeing you boys knuckle to knuckle 11th of March. Okay, cheers, right. mate. Cheers.